Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Happy New Year. It's January 3rd, 2015. I'm here with a Christmas collection update, and hopefully later today, or if not tomorrow, I will have a uh, list, my top 35, I believe, is how many on there, list of 2014, um, along with a few other lists. Um, but this is just a collection update right now. I have quite a few CDs as well as quite a few vinyl, uh, which is great. Uh, this, these first few vinyl uh, I'm going to show you were given to me by my dad. Uh, he just said you can keep them because he has a huge extensive vinyl collection and I'm perfectly okay with this because I love vinyl. Uh, the first two are actually a bit of a double album. Uh, they're Keeper of the Seven Keys, Parts 1, I believe. Yep, Part 1 and Part 2 by Halloween. Haven't really had a chance to listen to it, but I do uh, like Halloween quite a bit, so we'll see. Uh, these next two I have not listened to yet. Uh, this one, uh, See You in Hell by Grim Reaper. Have not listened to it yet, and I have not listened to this next one either. Uh, Fallen Angel by Uriah Heep. So, we'll see what they sound like when I decide to listen to them. These next two vinyl uh, I bought myself. Uh, one I bought at a place called McKay's. Uh, it's a used media, used movies, music, and bookstore. Mostly books, but they do have music. Um, this one actually wasn't used. It was new. Uh, but it was a pretty decent price, so I decided to get it. Superstition by The Birthday Massacre. I love The Birthday Massacre, one of my favorite dark wave bands. Um, and it's nothing, sp uh, the vinyl's nothing special, it's just a standard side A, side B vinyl. Uh, so yeah, Birthday Massacre, uh, Superstition, great album. Um, was on my top list for 2014. Alright, this next one, uh, I bought it actually Hot Topic for a pretty decent price. And that is uh, The Silent Circus by Between the Buried and Me. Um, for those of you who don't know, Hot Topic is switching to an all vinyl store, which is kind of cool, but kind of hipster at the same time, because Hot Topic has really left the uh, metal scene and gone more to the pop culture scene. But hey, they have decent vinyls at my Hot Topic, so why not? I got this for a decent price. And on top of it, it is a beautiful green vinyl with the... Uh, swirl pattern, if you you probably can't see it on here, but there's a swirl pattern in the vinyl, um, and it's just great. I love this album. It's one of my favorite Between the Barrier and Me releases ever, and the fact that it's on a green vinyl makes it that much better, just because color vinyl is awesome. And it is a double album. Um, in a gatefold packaging, the gate inside the gatefold is just the lyrics and thanks and stuff like that. Uh, but the other album uh, is green as well. If my stuff will stop falling everywhere. All right, and now for the CDs. Uh, these first four my aunt got for me on Christmas Eve, and the first one is Between Here and Lost Expanded Edition by Love and Death. Uh, expanded edition taken lightly. It's only three extra bonus tracks, two of them being remixes, but still. Uh, Love and Death, Between Here and Lost, great album. Uh, Br this is uh, Head from Korn. This is his band. Uh, this was his album from 2013, and it's just great. Um, Head's a great singer, great guitarist. So, if you haven't checked this out, please do, because it's a great debut album from Brian Welsh's band. Uh, this next one I may or may not get a lot of hate for, because um, there are people who love this band, there are people who don't. I'm one of the people that do, and this is probably one of the greatest comebacks ever, uh, in 2014. Point Five, The Grey Chapter by Slipknot. Uh, it's a great album. I love how Slipknot were able to come back in just brute force and tear up 2014 with this record. So Point Five, The Grey Chapter by Slipknot.
This next one I was surprised she was able to find, because I've been looking everywhere for it and she never found it. Z2 by Devin Townsend. The first disc, uh, Sky Blue, right there, is a Devin Townsend project album. And, of course, for any of you Devin Townsend fans, you were waiting for this one. The second disc, Dark Matters, is it the second Ziltoid album, which both discs are just phenomenal. Personally, I do like Sky Blue a little bit more, but the, not to bash the Ziltoid album, because both discs are damn near perfect. It's a great album, Z2 by Devin Townsend. Uh, and the last one, I'm also surprised she found that, uh, out here, because, you know, Tennessee... Me, 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 me. <laughs> Redneck. Yeah, I'm in the middle of Hick Town, or Hick Central United States. But, uh, Sunday there by Deaf Heaven. Uh, great post rock, post metal album. And it's just great. There's no real words to describe this album. It was one of my, one of the greatest albums of 2013. And that's all I can really say about it. Sunbather by Death Heaven. This next one's a bit of an older release. Uh, in fact, I believe it was released in 04. And it took me forever to find this one. Um, actually, I didn't even find it. My parents got it for me for Christmas because my dad knows how long I've been looking for it. Emotion by a Perfect Circle. It's a CD, or a remix CD slash DVD with, all mu with a bunch of music videos, a couple live tracks. Um, and this is just phenomenal that I was able to get this for Christmas. I've been looking for this for years. Emotion by a Perfect Circle. I'm just happy to have this now because my Perfect Circle discography is complete with this. And these next four, well, three, I ordered off Amazon. Uh, one of them actually hasn't come yet, but I was just tired of waiting because I really needed to make this video. Um, but three of them have come, and I'll tell you. And I'll tell you what the first one, or what the one that hasn't come yet is. It's the Human Equation by Arion. Great album. I know I've explained Arion before, uh, but the Human Equation is probably one of their best albums to date. My favorite is the Theory of Everything, but the Human Equation is a close second. And these next, all right, the next three are. Um, the other ones I ordered from Amazon. First one is Ghost by the Devin Townsend Project. This is the ambient Devin Townsend Project album, the post rock alternative ambient per prog masterpiece that Devin Townsend created. Uh, I love this album. Puts me to sleep in a good way. I love the ambience of this album. So, Devin Townsend Project, Ghost, check it out. Uh, this next one, one of my favorite black metal, avant-garde, uh, metal albums ever. Another great ambient black metal or atmospheric black metal album. Agalock, The Mantle. If you don't know who Agalock are, you need to check them out right now because this album is a masterpiece. There is almost nothing wrong with The Mantle. And the thing with Agawak is they create masterpieces for albums, and you're like, there's no way they're going to top it the next time. And they do. That's what they did with um, Ashes Against the Grain, or not Ashes Against the Grain, Marrow of the Spirit, um, going into The Serpent and the Sphere, which was their release from last year. But The Mantle is probably their most perfect album to date. Great album. Please check it out. This last one was a partial accident when I ordered it. I originally ordered it thinking I'm just going to get a jewel case version, but I actually got a digipack version with a bonus disc, uh, which is great because I love deluxe editions. And I got it for like six bucks. Brand new. Shadows of the Dying Sun by Insomnium. Uh, this is the deluxe edition with the four bonus track CD. And it's great. One of the best melodic death metal bands currently around. So, Shadows of the Dying Sun by Insomnium, great album. And this last one I picked up at McKay's because it was like a dollar forty nine. It was under the very scratched section of their CDs. And it's 
the weird part about it is it's not scratched at all. It's like brand new. But I only paid like a dollar fifty for it. The Melody and the Energetic Nature of Volume by Evans Blue. My favorite Evans Blue album. And not to say that their new singer's bad, but their I think I prefer their old singer. Um so yeah. Melody and Energetic Nature of Volume by Evans Blue. And that is all I have from the Christmas stuff. That why well, it was a long video. It's been ten and a half minutes so far. So uh yeah, that's all I have for you right now. I will come back with my lists from la for last year, and I will see you guys later.